there, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today is, is day six of my seven days of celebration videos. Each video features one of the free products that are available during our celebration promotion from Stamping Up. The project, the items I'm featuring today is the beautiful, beautiful Dainty Flowers 12 by 12 designer series paper. Here it is on page six of the celebration brochure. It's absolutely gorgeous paper, double sided 12 by 12. There's one on the other side of it. Starry Night, uh, Fresh Freesia, Old Olive, uh, the colours in there, Rich Razzleberry, Blushing Bride. It's really pretty paper. Isn't this one beautiful? Just you can cut each of these out for your um, back of your cards. This is the one I'm used to today. It's this, this page right here, isn't it? I just, this is beautiful. Then I make a beautiful page for scrapbooking as well. And there's the other side of it. It's just glorious. And one of the great things about it is that it coordinates with the Dainty Delights bundle, which is here. And it's on page 55 of the mini catalog. Now, the purchase of this bundle together. Um, also would qualify you for this free item so it's something to think about and I've put a link to these products in the description bar below so let me show you how I made this card it's super super easy a little bit of blending just to bring out the colors of that paper and a tiny little bit of stamping so I started with the tent shaped card and this is my thick basic white and this is a piece of um, Blushing Bride cardstock. And I've already gone ahead and embossed it using the most beautiful embossing folder. Let me just grab this one out here. Now, if you haven't seen this one before, it's in the annual catalogue. And it's the Stitched Greenery die. When I say die, it embosses. It doesn't cut. And it's got the most beautiful, dainty stitching in the background, the leaf stitching. I've used it a lot and I just really, really love using it. And I've cut my piece of this designer series paper out using one of the rectangle, stitched rectangle dies just to get a small glimmer of it. And we're just going to do a little bit of blending over the top of that one. So let me show you how I did it. So bring in my little piece of paper, my designer series paper and some little bit of scrap. And I'm using two inks I'm using Fresh Freesia and Blush and Bride because they are coordinating colors in here bringing in my blending brushes now we also have two new sizes of blending brushes in the annual in our new mini catalog they are smaller than this one I haven't actually received mine yet my order yet so I'm using the standard size ones but either work so I'm going to start with the Fresh Freesia down the bottom now the trick to blending is just to I do a very I just rub very very lightly or put my brush in the ink pad lightly and then I'm just going to start off here off the page and then work my way in with this is fresh freesia I'm using by the way and the reason you start off the page is so that you don't get that big sort of um, blob of color if you like so once again with blending you can go as light or as dark as you like. So I'm going to sort of go about halfway, just getting a bit lighter as I go, or just over halfway I've gone with my fresh freesia there. A little bit deeper than I have in this one, but that's okay. It's nice to have a little, do them a little bit differently. I'm going to bring in my blushing bride this time. And, oops, and then just come in and start off. And then I'm just going over that fresh freesia a little bit with my blushing bride ink classic ink let's turn that around i love blending i think it's one of the mediums i could just do on high rotation i really do I'm going all the way up the top and you could leave that top if you wanted to leave it white um, with the, the plainer sort of white background but i'm going to blend it all out And that's just another way to make this beautiful designer series paper pop. Um, you know, you could leave this blank, obviously, but I just uh, I thought it brought a little bit of depth. 
to paper. Right. Now that is really all there is to it. And I've kept the stamping really simple because I wanted to showcase this beautiful paper. And I've gone ahead already and stamped uh, and heat embossed on a piece of um, old olive actually to tie in that colour. And I used a really simple happy birthday stamp and it's from the amazing year stamp set. Um, just wanted to, you know, just not detract from this beautiful paper. I've cut a piece of, well once again, sorry, I cut that out using one of the stitch rectangle, rectangle dies as well. Get those out of the way. Um, we have actually got a little bit more stamping to do. Um, this uh, piece of designer series paper is then going to be backed onto uh, another piece of basic white. And I just, because I just wanted a very narrow border um, underneath it. But let me go ahead and show you how I did the stamping. Okay, so in another one of our um, products that are free in the celebration brochure is this beautifully happy stamp set. I've already used it uh, in a previous video, but it has a very, very cute little bee right here. And that's what we're going to use. You may not be able to pick it up so well in the video. I've got my little bee shapes just around here. So we're going to stamp a couple of bees onto there and see how we go. All right, so I'm going to bring in my mento and this crushed curry. So with the little bee, the little bee shape. He's such a cute little stamp. So let's have him over here. So I don't want to detract from where I put the sentiment. It should probably be round about there somewhere. Maybe another one round about here. Whoops, really? And maybe over there. Hmm. What do you think? Maybe there. Okay. And then there's another tiny little stamp in here in this photopolymer set. Little weeny one right there. And that's what I'm going to use the crushed curry for. Or the for the bottom of him of him him or her him. Make sure I've got it going around the right way. <laughs> I think it's that way. Now this is just requires a little bit of uh, it's two step stamping, which I need to get a little bit closer so I can see what I'm doing. Get it right over there. Oops, I didn't do very well for a good job there. Let me just try that again. There we go. And this one. Yep. And this one. Just for the little bottom half of the B. There you go. I think that adds a, a cute little accent to the card as well. Simple, but cute. Take the backings off these dimensionals. Just pop that on. Just make sure I can still see those bees. Yep. Oops. Right. Bring in some Tombow. So again, I've just put a narrow border on here. Just really to help this paper pop against the, um, the Blushing Bride cardstock. So I've put um, a link to the products I've used in the description bar below. So 
if you um, live in New Zealand and you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I'd be happy to send you out our, all of our brochures, including the celebration information. So just contact me via my Stamping Up website or Stamping Mary, Stamping Mary M E R R Y at gmail.com. I'm happy to send the information out to you. Um, if you click on any of the products that I put in the description bar below, you'll be taken to my um, Stampin' Up store directly, so you can see all of these fabulous products I've used today and all of our other fabulous products. The Dainty Delight um, paper, along with the Dainty Delight um, sweet are just so very so very pretty and if you like the lovely soft subtles then this is a set for you for sure whoops we don't want the card to go up upside down do we it would not be good would not be good at all so this really is a great addition to this paper is just perfect for quick um, card making because it's um the imagery is so pretty and you just don't need to do a whole lot of a whole lot else really if you don't want to let's um make a quick little bow here with some basic white twine And then trim that off. I have this, have this one a bit longer, I think. There you go. And there you have it. Relatively quick, easy card featuring the celebration paper, Dainty Delights from Stampin' Up. I hope you enjoyed the projects. Please um, do let me know if you have any questions and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.